Hey guys, good evening. How's it going? Hello guys. Well, Hello. thank you very much for joining in today to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'm going to be at your service for this class. Um, how's it going, guys? How was your weekend? It was fine. Fine? What did you do? Um, I, I, I rest. Okay. Especially on Saturday. And on Sunday, I went with my mom just to to walk at the most. Okay, very good. So you can say, remember that we need to cover most of the time the order, subject, verb, complement. So I went to the mom to the mall with my mom. With my mom. Okay, the person that you are actually talking about is gonna go at the end. All right. Okay. Thank All you. Right, perfect. Thank you, Nidia, for your participation. Anybody else, guys, that want to share how was your weekend? Or how your weekend was, actually? No one? Hey, it's Monday, guys. I know it's Monday, but you are all muted. Like you're hiding from me. Mm. So let's go ahead and recap a little bit. What was Thursday topic? Do you remember? Anybody? Hello. So I see Marcelo, I see Vanessa, Federico, Gabriela, um, Rodrigo, no one's talking, guys. Do you remember what was Thursday's topic? No? So the topic was used to and would. Who can give me an example with used to? Hello? Guys, can you hear me? Because nobody's answering. I, I used to go out on, on Saturday, but since last year, we go out on Sunday because of the traffic. Okay. Thank you, Nidia. Participating again. Good job. That's the spirit. All right, guys. So today, so since you don't really want to participate about last Thursday, let's go ahead and participate about this topic. Um, did you complete the 1.10 knowledge check? Guys? No, I don't. No, you didn't. All right. So right now I'm actually sharing right now, I'm actually share. the, screen. the screen. Who else hasn't finished this yet? Me. Evelyn. Yeah. All right. Very good. So here, what is the difference between would and used to? Do you remember? No one. Hey guys, listen up. Part of your learning process is for you to study, for you to review. I know that you might not have time, but uh, you gotta find a way to make time, all right? If you wanna pursue success, if you wanna pursue your happiness, you gotta do your best. All right. So let's go ahead and continue, guys. I will let I will leave you in order for you to do it at home. All right. Remember that you gotta complete 80 or 85 percent so you can approve the course. Otherwise, you won't be enrolled in the next one. All right, let's get it done. Later on, please. 2.0, lesson objective. Lesson objective. Okay, thank you, Gabby. Read it with me, all of you guys, please. At the end of this session. At the end of this section. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's right, section, I said session. Thank you very much for the correction. At the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use relative clauses and noun clauses in the same sentence. Go, please. The end of this At the end of the session, participants participate and use related clauses. Relative. Rodrigo, help me with the pronunciation of relative. 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 Mm -hmm. It sounds like relative. a relative. Relative. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next one. 
classes. 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 Do you know what a class is, guys? Like a like sentence. sentence. Like a sentence, correct. So, guys, today we're going to learn how to use relative clauses and noun clauses. So, let me go ahead and stop this so I can share with video. You stop by the so we can go ahead and and complete this video. There we go. All right. Hi, let's keep on talking about relative clauses. This time, they can occur in the subject or the object of the sentence. Stay around and listen to the explanation. Relative clauses and noun clauses. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. The thing that I can stand is co-workers who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. The thing I can stand is co-workers that leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. Some said... Alrighty guys, so as you can see on this uh, watching, as you can see on this video, a relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of the sentence. Who can tell me who, uh, who's the object? Who can tell me what is the subject? Anybody? All right. Around? No. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for trying, guys. Remember, if you don't know, just give it a try. Because what I'm trying to to do right here is for you, to, for, for you guys, all of you to participate. So the subject is the thing or person, the noun who does the action. So for example, if I say Alejandro <coughs> punched Federico, who is the subject? Alejandro. Uh -huh. I will be the subject because I am doing the action, right? And who is the object? Federico. Federico, right? Federico, he received the tortazo. So that's pretty much the difference between subject and object. All right? Okay. So, how do you say algo que me molesta en la gente? Algo que me molesta. Something that bugs me. Something that bugs me. Something that bugs me in, in this one. Correct. Is people who wake up, who take up two seats on a crowded bus. All right. Have you ever lived this situation, guys? Yes. Yeah, that people is actually uh, using the two seats in the bus and it's totally crowded. If you notice here, guys, something that bugs me is going to be the first clause. Okay? Is as the subject. Is people who take. So the uh, relative clause, it will be people who. Co workers who. So how do you say that in the Spanish? Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats in a crowded bus. Algo que me molesta son las personas que toman dos asientos en un bus lleno. There you go, lleno, topado, full, etc. So as you can see, something that bugs me will be the subject, algo que me molesta. Then we have the up the verb right here, y, and the relative clause at the end. All right. So say with me, please. The thing that I can stand. The thing that I can stand. The thing I can stand. These co-workers who leave their mobile, who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. These co-workers who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. Okay, very good. So, uh, who can say that in Spanish, please? Anybody who can translate from English to Spanish so we have a clear idea? La cosa que no soporto es que mis compañeros de trabajo, eh, quienes dejan sus cel eh, celulares sonando en sus escritorios. Exacto. So pretty much, guys, aquí lo que estamos haciendo con las relative clauses, lo que hacemos es 
ocupamos un clause como sujeto, ¿verdad? Algo que me molesta, algo que odio, algo que me gusta. Ocupamos is, sería la estructura, u y el complemento, ¿all right? Para que vayamos teniendo una idea. Now, let's continue with the video. Sentences use a relative clause and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when. The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. Very good. So, guys, here, the thing that I hate, what do you think is, uh, is the first clause? ¿Cuál es la primera cláusula? The thing that I hate. The thing that I hate. Mm -hmm. thing that I hate. Is, and then we have when. when. If you notice, it's the same thing, right? We have the first, the introductory sentence, is, and who. Aquí estamos hablando de personas. And here we are talking about cuando. Okay? La, lo que odio es cuando los niños andan en su scooter en la acera. ¿Por qué? Por la bulla. How do you say bulla? Noise. Mm, noise. Noise, correct. Let me go ahead and write it down. In the chat. So, that will be bulla. All right. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Guys. What is a relative clause or adjective clause? Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Relative clauses, use. Relative or adjective clauses give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. They are dependent clauses. Relative clauses help connect two separate ideas. For example, that is the school. I went to that school as a boy. All right, so pretty much, guys, here they are giving you the uses, all right? So can we use a relative clause? Hello? All right, so guys, let me help you out a little bit. I know it's Monday, and it seems like you're still on Sunday, so. Let's, let's give it a try. Now, look at the option of relative clause, guys, para ponerlo sencillo, ya que vi que hoy estamos un poquito. Ahora digamos en el targo. Es que agregamos más información. Right. Agregamos más información de el sujeto o el objeto. ¿Qué significa there are dependent clauses? Que tienen que estar las dos unidas, si no, no tiene sentido. Okay. Y lo que hacen es que conectan dos ideas. Por ejemplo, esa es la escuela. ¿Es una oración completa? Yes. Yes. Ok, that is the school. Mm, pero, ¿cuál escuela? Oh. Oh, so, if I tell you, hey, that is the school, guys. And you can tell me, ah, no, hombre, qué chivo. Right? So, there's no more information. So, that is the school I went to as a boy. That's school as a boy. Okay. So, if you notice, we are getting these two together. Estamos uniendo estas dos cláusulas y agregando más información a la primera. Okay? So, cuando se dice que son dependientes, perdón por el español, pero quiero que quede bien claro. Cuando se dice que son dependientes, es porque esta necesita el relative clause para tener sentido completamente. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. So let's continue. You gotta practice a lot. Okay. Which I went to as a boy. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns introduce relative clauses. Relative clauses tell us which person or thing the speaker means or refers to. Who? The subject. Whom? The object meaning people, which, whose, refers to things. That, instead of who, whom or which, where, when, and why, 
gives the reason why. They are relative adverbs. Remember, the pronoun refers to the same thing as the relative pronoun. Example, the students are smart. They are learning relative clauses. The students who are learning relative clauses are smart. Who is used instead of they? Let's go over this example. One thing that I hate is people who talk during a movie. All right, guys. So on this one, how do you say, una cosa que yo odio es cuando la gente empieza a pitar cuando el semáforo se pone en verde. Como ese que está pitando el Mm -hmm. Let me help you with this. One thing that I hate is when people start honking. How do you say pitar? Honking. Honking. Honk is honking. pitar, right? And you can conjugate it. It's just a verb. So, una cosa honk. que yo, Exactly. So, una cosa que yo odio, one thing I hate. And this one, guys, that is in parentheses because you can say it or not. And it's not going to change the meaning. It's up to you. Okay? So, how do you say, una cosa que odio es cuando mi hermano usa mis camisas? One, one thing, thing that I, I hate, I hate is when my, my brother, my brother wear my shirt. It's when my brother we, uh, wears my shirt. Wears. Okay. Wears. Wears. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and, and complete the, the audio, the video, because we really need to practice this thing. One thing is the subject of the main clause. Leaving us with that I hate is the relative clause that describes the subject. Noun clauses. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. A noun clause gives more detailed description of a subject or object of a sentence. Let's take a look at these words. They are noun clause markers or connectors. That, if, whether, wh words, how, what, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why. Wh ever words, however, whatever, whenever, wherever, whichever, whoever, which is informal, and whomever, which is formal. We want you to note, except for that, noun clause markers cannot be omitted. Only that can be omitted, but it can be omitted only if it is not the first word in a sentence. Let's take a look at these sentences. Subject, noun clauses. Noun clauses are subject of verbs. That George learned how to swim is a miracle. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. What Mary said confused her parents. However you learn to spell, it's okay with me. Notice the structure. Subject noun clause plus verb plus object. Object noun clauses. Noun clauses as objects of verbs. We didn't know the bill would jump. Can you tell me if Fred is here? I don't know where he is. George eats whatever is on his plate. Again, not the structure. Subject plus verb plus object noun clause. Read this sentence with me. One thing that bugs me is when people talk during a movie. Let's work with this sentence. There are two clauses in this sentence. The bugs me is a relative clause. And when people talk during a movie, it's a noun clause. Now type examples using relative clauses in the subject and in the object of a sentence. All right, guys. So who thinks this I is walk. complicated? One thing the... Do you think this is complicated, guys? Yes. yes. <laughs> Um, yes, yes, I do. Yes, a little. yes, it's complicated. Mm, yes, but if you go with all of these, uh, 
Yeah, of course, that is going to be complicated. You do have to dedicate some time in order for you to master this. Okay? Now, how do you say, ese es el hombre que atropelló al gato? That's the man who... The man. Uh -huh. That is the man who atropelló. Run over. Run over, correct. So you can conjugate that right here. Run, run over. Mm -hmm. So run, run. So, so pretty much, guys, here. Cuando nosotros queremos hablar de gente, vamos a ocupar who. Sí, es el sujeto, el que hizo la acción. Uh -huh. uh, por ejemplo, uh, how do you say, esa es la niña que compró el helado. Who is the girl? Esa es, lo estamos diciendo, esa es. That's the girl. Uh -huh. That's the girl who bought the uh -huh. ice cream. That's the girl who. Uh -huh. Who bought the, uh, the ice cream. The ice cream. Uh -huh. All right, so we can make it a little bit more interactive, guys. Let's open the chat right here. So, how do you say? Ese es el teacher que me enseñó a leer. That is the teacher who... Who learned learn me. Learn me. Learn me. Taught me. Taught me. Taught me to read. How to read. How to read. How to read. How to read. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> if you notice here, that is the teacher who. Estamos ocupando sujeto, una persona, ¿verdad? Es, la, es el teacher que me enseñó a leer. All right. Yes. Okay. Time that I touch this, it moves. All right, very good. So, how do you say? Esa es la niña que me besó hace una hora. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the girl Thank who yeah. kissed me. Kiss me. Kissed. Hace una hora? One hour. One hour. Uh -huh. go. Well, we can say an hour, hour ago. ago. O podemos decir one hour ago. One hour. Uh -huh. hour. Era las dos? So, si ustedes se fijan, guys, se pueden uh, eh, hacer patrones, ¿verdad? Y estamos hablando de sujetos. Ahora, um, how do you say, esa es, esa es la, la niña que fue golpeada por la pelota. That's the girl, That's the girl who was hit. Or whom? Uh, whom, whom was hit by the ball. Exactly. Whom was hit by the ball. ¿Por qué, guys? Porque aquí es el objeto del pelotazo. Right? Ah. Como es el objeto, vamos a ocupar whom. whom. Who received the action. Exactly. The one who received the action. That's why it's called the object. Because it's receiving. Um, how do you say, esos son los estudiantes que fueron um, expulsados. How do you say Those are the students uh -huh. who were expelled. Who were. Those are the students whom who were. Were. Uh -huh. Who were. Uh, ah. Yeah. Okay, guys, help me out. How do you say? Kick uh, it off. <laughs> podemos ocupar kick off. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, what else? Where kick off? Someone, someone said it already. <laughs> okay. It's spelled? Yes, exactly. All right, those are the students whom were... Ellos echaron a alguien? No, ellos recibieron la acción de ser expulsados. Are we, does it make sense? Is it making sense, guys? ¿Va teniendo sentido? 
Yeah. 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 All right. yeah. Obviously, we have a lot, and we won't be able to finish with all of them because there are many, many structures in order for you for us to, to do this. Okay. Now, um, how do you say it? Ese es, bueno, podemos ocupar um, otras cosas. We can use something else. How do you say um, planes de renderos es el lugar donde yo me casé? Donde yo me voy a casar para que cambiemos. So we can change. Planes de renderos es el lugar donde yo me voy a casar. Planet the Renderer is the place is the where place. I'm going to get married. There you go. Is the place where is the place I'm where married. I'm gonna I'm get gonna get married. married. I'm gonna get married. Okay, very good. So as you can see, podemos ocupar which for things. Um how do you say este es el celular que yo compré? Cambiémoslo. Let's go ahead and change it. Um, Samsung Galaxy 8 es el teléfono que yo compré. Es el teléfono Samsung Galaxy. Samsung that I bought. Ajá. Samsung Galaxy is the cell phone that I bought. Is the, is the cell phone I bought. Exactly. We can say that I bought. And we can also use which. Right? Now, if you don't want to use which, as you can see here, you can replace that instead of who, whom, and which. Okay? So, if you don't want to memorize all of these things, use that. ¿Podemos ocupar that con lugar? Yeah. No. Yes. No. No, not. Because we use it with who, whom, uh, who, whom, and which. Very good. ¿Podemos ocuparlo con when? No. 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 So so we can only use it with whom, who, and which. All right. So that, that Samsung Galaxy A is, is, A is the cell phone that, because it's optional, I bought. Is it making sense, guys? ¿Va teniendo sentido? All right. Sorry. That's a nice street. I don't know what you should write. Okay. Sorry for the background noise. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do right now, guys, is um we're gonna try to practice a little bit, okay? Before we actually do this, I'm gonna open break rooms in order for you to do exercise 2.2, the knowledge check, okay? And after, while you're working on the knowledge check, we're gonna practice the last minutes. All right, let me go ahead and open the break rooms. Please go to the knowledge check 2.2. Let me know when you're there. It's gonna be this one. Go to this knowledge check, please. Let me know when you're there. Are you there, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, fantastic. So let me go ahead and open the break rooms, and um, we're gonna try to to get this done. One more. There you go. Please go ahead and accept the invite. There we go. Please accept the invite. There we go. I'm going to be visiting you one by one. All right, there we go. So, Ricardo, go ahead and accept the invite once you get it, please. Maribel and Gabriela are waiting for you. Can you hear me, Rick? Hello? All right, there we go. He already joined. Let's 
go ahead and allow the kids to work on this. Alrighty guys, so little by little we're going to start coming back because we have some more exercises to do. Okay, everything is here. So in the meantime, I'm going to share this with you. Alrighty guys, so for the ones who are already here, which will be Evelyn and Rodrigo, we're going to be completing this test. Okay, the best recommendation that I can give you in order to, to practice relative patterns is to look for examples and use your own information, okay? Okay. All right, fantastic. And believe it or not, this, this topic is way more common than you think, because we use it to describe. All right, so people is going back already. All righty, so guys, let's go ahead and work on this. Give me a second. All right. Here, I want you to help me out. A place is a castle. A castle is a place where. Where, where? is where is where? Where are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look. Remember that we're talking about things right oh give me a second i think i messed it up and you're seeing all of the answers one moment please. all right let's get it all together guys help me with the next one an actress is okay. a woman who who? who why who because we're talking about a woman who about Whom, whom, whom plays? Whom mm. is who? No, because no, who, who, 
You're Ooh, talking so about the woman. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. In the, the subject. The next one. Who? Girl. Number three, whom? Because whom? is the object. Whose? For me, it's whose. Sorry, guys, I got disconnected for a few. All right, so this is the girl. Mother, give me a second. All right, very good. Whose mother? Why whose mother? Because we're talking about possession, right? Esta es la, la niña cuya madre es de Canadá. All right, so this is the time of the year. I'm sorry, I can't see the, the sentences. The, the I can't see the screen. Oh, your okay. screen. Got it. Let me share it again because I got disconnected for a moment. I can see the screen too. Can you see it now? Now, okay. yes. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Sorry about that because my internet is having issues. Yes, the, technicians mine too. Are, the technicians are coming on Saturday. Imagine that. All right. So, <laughs> this is the time of the year. Time of the year. When? 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 Okay. The flowers. Excuse me, teacher. What is hay fever? Hay fever is some um, some sort of uh, disease. Let me let me try to remember what hay is. If I'm not mistaken, it's like. I think it's like. Eno. Uh, fiebre del eno, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. exactly. It's like a hay fever. fever. Mm. Yes, yes. Hey, hey is eno. Exactly. So, uh, hay fever, it might be perhaps of, of what's being released to the air, right? So, you got ah, okay. But I got to double check because I'm not, not quite sure on that one. This one, the flowers. Thank you. You're welcome. Which? Which? Why which? It's a thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, by the way, guys, I want to recommend this website for you. Thank Eagle for you. It's, it's a very good website where you're going to have tons of exercises. Tons Thanks. means montones. Eagle. Mm -hmm. Eagle. 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 Eagle for you. Eagle.com. Eagle for you.com. I sent it to the group. Oh, thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thanks, teacher. I appreciate that close. You're welcome. Here, decide whether the relative pronoun is necessary or not. This is the picture that Jane painted. Is it necessary? El dad? Es necesario el dad en esta? Yes. Isn't no. Is. All right, very good. No. Not really. The recommendation yeah. is for you to try both. This is the picture Jane painted. Does it make sense? Yes. Yes. No. This is, the, this is the picture of that Jane painted. Does it make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. So here, guys, it's not necessary. Why? Because it doesn't um. change the meaning. Ustedes se la quitan. Y ahí cambia el significado. Ahí sí es necesaria. Pero si ustedes lo pueden decir, si tiene sentido y no cambia el significado con that, entonces ahí es eh, no es necesaria. Si lo cambia, sí es necesario. Do you know the man who is speaking on the phone? It's necessary. It's necessary. All right. We ate the sweets my mother had bought. It's not necessary. Mm, it's not necessary. Okay, let's double check. At the end, we're going to double check. Is this the boy who plays the piano? It's necessary. It's not necessary. necessary. Is this the boy who plays the piano? Yes. I think this thing. Okay. All right. So necessary or not necessary? Let's vote. Necessary. Necessary. Okay. Let's go ahead and click this one in the meantime. For me, it's necessary. Uh -huh. I see that you have divided, divided answer. This is the house that was broken into? No. Not necessary? No. Not necessary. Not necessary. All right. So we're I, think I, I think it's necessary. I think it is necessary. too. Okay. So 
¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Let's go ahead and... It's not necessary. It's necessary. All right. Very good. Don't fight, though. Don't hard. fight. All right. Let's leave it as it is, guys. Here, Catherine and Sue are two girls. What do you think we're going to use? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm sorry for the disconnection. I know it's the second time, but as I mentioned before, the connection is going to come on Saturday. <laughs> so I hope that they are here. All right. So, Catherine, are, Catherine and Sue are two. Okay. What do you think is missing? Uh huh. Anybody? What do we use here? Whom or who? Who like dancing? Okay, who like um, dancing? Why? Because we talk about the girls doing the action, not receiving the action. Next one, my mobile phone is something. Uh -huh. That. That. Uh -huh. that, is very that is very important to me. That is very important to me. All right, very good. Okay, very good. So, Anthony is a friend of mine. Hello? Guys, can you hear me? Hello. 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 Because of the yeah. noise. Okay. Hey guys, one more time. Again, my connection is super unstable. All right. Very good. So, um, Anthony is a friend of mine. Huh? Who lives in Boston? Who lives in Boston? Who lives in Boston? All right, let's double check it. Next one. West Side Story is a music. Is a musical. A musical. That is that is very famous. That is very famous. All right. And next one. An airport is a place. Where where planes land. Where planes land. Where planes land. Where Planes land. Planes land. And the last one, guys. We bought a car last week. The car is blue. How do you say? The car it? that we bought exactly. last week is blue. The car we bought blue. last week is blue. Blue. As you can see, guys, it's not really that difficult, but you do need a lot of examples. This girl is a singer. We met her at the party. The girl we met at her party is a singer. Is a singer. All right, let's leave it like that. Next one, the bananas are on the table. George brought them, bought them. The bananas uh, George both are on the table. Okay. Yeah, we can say any any relative clause like there? Which? No. The bananas. Let's see. The, the banana that which George Bowden bar on the table. Okay. Bought, bought them. Are on the table. Let's see. Let's see. Remember that we still got a table. I'm sorry. I have bad internet reception. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, sir. I appreciate you're here. Always doing your best. Next one. We watched a film last night. It was very scary. The film. The film we watched last night was really scary. Was really scary. All right, let's see if it's good or not. I have to learn new words. They are very difficult. The new, new words, words are very difficult. What very difficult? Uh -huh. The new words that I have to learn. Uh -huh. 
No, 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 no. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and check the answers. See what we got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where, who, who's, when, which? Correct. Correct. Hmm. This is the one that you guys were having issues, right? This is the house that was broken into. Esta es la casa que se metieron a robar. So, it is necessary. All right? Here. Ah, we're missing the punctuation mark. Very good. Punctuation, uh -huh, punctuation, punctuation, punctuation. All right, guys, so you got it. We got it correct, but I, that was my mistake. I didn't wrote the... I didn't write the, the period. That's why it's showing us incorrect. This one as well, punctuation. So pretty much you've done a good job, just this one. Both sentences about bananas. So we first take the sentence where bananas is a subject at the beginning of the sentence. Then behind bananas, we put the other sentence with the pronoun them. Okay? So, how do you think that we can correct it? Looking at this explanation. ¿Cómo creen que lo podemos arreglar? Anybody? What is the question, teacher? How do you think we can fix this? Well, we have to raise them mm -hmm. because we are using Bananas. Okay, so how we see them? Uh-huh. Hmm. Bananas are on the table. George bought them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The bananas that are on the table were bought by George? <laughs> it's actually good. That will be passive voice, and it's well used. Passive voice is mm, okay. So both sentences are about bananas, right? Because them is making reference to the bananas. So we first take the sentence where bananas is the subject, and we have it right here, right? At the beginning of the sentence, behind bananas, we put in the other sentence without the pronoun them. So bananas. George but are on the table. I don't know why it's giving it incorrect. Because we eliminated them. Yes. Mm -hmm. The bananas George but are on the table. Yeah, I will leave it as it is, guys, because it doesn't really make sense. The last one is the same thing. I have to learn new words. They are very difficult. The new words I have to learn are very difficult. That's good. So guys, all of this is pretty much correct. We just had this this one incorrect. It was my mistake, but I didn't write the equation mark. All right. So in order for you to help this thing or, or to memorize it, you got to use the example. Once you use examples, you can start creating your own sentences. So, how do you say, um, la playa es un lugar donde nos podemos divertir? The beach is a place where we have fun. Where we can have fun. Very good. We can have fun. The beach is a place where we can have fun. So, how do you say, el centro es un lugar donde... Donde podemos, donde nos puede pasar algo malo. The downtown is the place Ajá, where... Um, algo malo nos puede pasar. Something bad will happen to us. Exactly, where something bad can happen to us. So, I have a question, teacher. Go ahead, Lourdes. About which and that. For example, in the screen, the example with the... West Side Story is 
Can you can you put in the in the screen? Ahí abajo está. Which one? Yo no sé si uno. This one. This one, number uh -huh. four. Uh -huh. West Side Story is a musical. What about if I use that is very famous? It's the same. Thing. The, uh -huh. the same. It's the same. Oh, Remember okay. that which? Which and that. Uh -huh. It's the same. Oh, okay. Which, whom, and who can be replaced by that? So it is exactly uh, the same thing. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. So I would recommend you guys to access this website if you want to practice your grammar because they have lots and lots of exercises, not only this, right? And if you want to learn or if you want to practice this, you can use this one and you start replacing the information with yours. So you get used to all of the structures, okay? So, for example, how do you say un policía? Un policía es una persona que protege al pueblo. The policeman. A policeman. Uh -huh. A policeman. It's a person. It's, it's a person. Who, who protects the, the people. Who protects the people. Very good. So, <laughs> how do you say, esta es, esta es la billetera que mi mamá andaba buscando. This, this, the one. The one. Uh -huh. Which my mom that my mom. was looking for. Uh huh. Which my mom or who's my mom was looking for. So, oops. Mm -hmm. so here, guys, that's the recommendation. Go ahead and use these ones and change the information so you can practice. All right. Okay. All right, guys. I know this topic is it seems complicated, but it's it's about practice. That's why we didn't have like a lot of time. Um, to practice speaking because I really needed you to understand and normally this is not a topic that we cover in an hour So I would recommend you to log in tomorrow very early. I always try to log in at 8 oh, again. Oh. Yeah. Yes All right What about now? Better Can you hear me guys? Yes, yes yeah. All right, very good. So try to log in tomorrow early so we can practice, okay? But I need okay. to study this okay. at home so we can give it 10 or 15 minutes practice, okay? Okay. All right, okay. guys, so it was my pleasure. Thank you very much for being a part of another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, good night. Good night. Thank you. Take care. Bye.